A presidential visit to hell. Volodymyr Zelensky accuses Russia of genocide as he tours the ravaged Ukrainian city of Bucha. Good evening. Until a few days ago, Butcher was a town few would have been able to find on a map. Now it seems set to become a byword for Russian atrocities that have shocked the world. Apparently defenseless civilians, shot dead with their hands bound behind their backs. Claims of rape and torture. These are war crimes, and they will be recognized by the world as genocide. Well, joining me now from Kiev is Richard Weir from Human Rights Watch. Thank you very much for coming on the programme. I mean, these are really distressing images. I wonder what you've seen as you've travelled around the city, uh, outside the city, and whether you think that actually amounts to war crimes. Well, you're absolutely right. These are extremely distressing images. And, of course, they're even more distressing when viewed uh, in person. And what we've seen, you know, travelling around uh, the city... Uh, and its outskirts in towns like Bucha are uh, are people who are dressed as civilians with their hands zip cuffed behind their back. Well, Ukraine's second city of Kharkiv came under shell attack again today, killing seven people and injuring dozens of others. It has been under constant bombardment since the war began, leaving much of the city in ruins with residents living in basements or underground stations. From there, our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, reports. The legendary dot com. A reminder of tonight's main news. The Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russia of carrying out genocide and war crimes as he visited the town of Bucha outside Kiev. Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said the evidence of civilian killings there was just the tip of the iceberg and called for the most severe sanctions to be imposed on Russia. Well, that's all from us tonight from all of us here in Leeds and Matt in London. That's Channel 4 News. Good evening.